and that was my knife. Still holding up. I'd say it's darn good for patchwork. All right, the tapeless mud has had a chance to dry overnight. I'm looking forward to pulling those pieces apart and seeing how strong it is. All right, time to test out these, these little test pieces. So um, I also did some with just regular mud and like mud and tape because I wanted to see how those would work. So first, let's see how just regular mud. So this is just all purpose with a chamfered joint. I don't even know if I'm even gonna be able to pick these pieces up without it breaking. No, held together. You know, most of the mud is forced through but not all the way. Anyways, let's see how hard it is to break this. Pretty easy. I should have shaken it a little bit like I did the other pieces, but whatever. Okay, what do we have on this one? So this is the properly mixed mud. Here's the old, here's the old one. Yeah, the fibers didn't really interlock. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit shrunken. I think this is still quick set though. It's not uh, regular all purpose mud. Anyways, let's give it a little shake. It's pretty good. You know, like, it's not structural shifting good, but that's good. I'm waving the crap out of that. That's pretty good. Let's give it the old knee test. Okay, it wasn't that good, but it was pretty good that I could shake it that hard without it breaking. Let's see how stuck on this stuff is. Like, you can see it's pulling off the drywall that it's next to. So it's really getting in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's super hard to break. Like, oh. so yeah, that was really tough. Like I'm amazed how strong that was and how hard it was to break that. It really does bind to it. You know, you can see the drywall is like, I'm having to break the drywall. So it didn't break the bond. So I don't know. I mean, there's promise there. Like that's a really strong bond. With well-fastened drywall and not too much structural settling, it would probably be, it would probably work. Um, let's also note that paper tape doesn't resist structural settling. If I haven't said that already in this video, yeah, the paper tape still cracks. So what do we have here? Here we have a butt joint that I don't know if I chamfered or not. I don't remember what this one is. Yeah, this might be an unchamfered butt joint, just to see how strong it is. Um, let's give it a shake first. Okay, yeah, unchamfered, nowhere near as strong. Just not as much surface area, and it can break directly in line with the joint as opposed to like on a 45. So that's definitely not as strong. All right, what do we have here? Um, this is the flat joint. So it was like a butted tight together flat joint. So there's no mud back here, which is pretty standard. Like if your flats are pushed together properly, then you really can't get mud in there. But this is, you know, a standard paper tape joint. Obviously, if I go this way, it's just going to fold right up. But let's see what happens when I give it like a shake this way. Ow! hit me right on my shinner and broke super easy. That broke surprisingly easily. Okay, on this one, I have a majorly chamfered out butt joint. It's hard to tell, but it's got a big 45 on that side, big 45 on that side. Um, 
The mud didn't get in as much as I thought it was going to. It did there, but not there. Um, anyways, let's see. Okay, folded back the other way really easily. <laughs> well, how about this way? Ow! Okay, it's pretty strong this way. I would say that is like maybe equally as strong or not quite as strong as the tapeless mud. Um, I'm surprised. Like I, I thought the tapeless mud was gonna break easier and that this was gonna be way harder to break. But this broke a little bit easier than the tapeless mud. So obviously this isn't like some crazy scientific experiment with like, you know, calculated loads of torque applied to it. But um, I am, I'm encouraged to try it again, right? Like that tapeless mud worked well enough that I would try it again. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I mean, what can I really add to this? I'll have to try it more on some other jobs and see how it works out. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter.